Hi everyone, it's Ian here and welcome to this tutorial on how to calculate the percentage of an amount. For those of you a bit unsure of what that phrase means, this means tackling your questions such as find 20% of 50, find 72% of 80, find 26% of 124. So these sort of questions. Now in this video, we're gonna look at how to solve these type of questions using two methods. First of all, we're gonna look at direct proportion, okay? And then after that, we're gonna look at using percentage equivalent decimals as multipliers. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at direct proportion. So here we have question one on the board and it says find 50% of 80 pounds. Now, direct proportion is when we know that certain amounts of things equal other amount of things, okay? And then they increase and decrease together. An example of this would be, if I had a bag of crisps, let's say it equals one pound. So one bag of crisps costs one pound. Now, if I had two bags of crisps, this would then cost us two pound because the cost of the crisps is directly proportional to the number of packets we have. If we had four bags of crisps, that would be four pounds. If I had a hundred bags of crisps, that would be a hundred pounds. This is direct proportion, okay? There's nothing more to it than that. It's when everything increases and decreases at the same rate. So percentages follow this rule. So if I look at this question and I'm saying find 50% of 80 pounds, let's say that 100% is 80 pounds. In percentage questions, it's always good to think about what is my 100%. So if I want 50% of 80 pounds, we know that 100% is 80 pounds. Now, you might already know the answer to this, okay? And I might just be going a bit too much for you, but if 100% is 80 pounds, then to go from 100% to 50%, we simply divide it by two, because 100 divided by two is 50. So we do the same with our 80 pounds. 80 pounds divided by two is 40 pounds. So there we see that 50% of 80 pounds equals 40 pounds. So this is direct proportion. We've halved both the percentage and we've halved the amount. Let's have a go at another question. This question that you're seeing here says, what is 30% of 120? Now this one's a little bit trickier because with the last question we could see that we just had to halve it. We had 100%, we wanted 50%. This one, we're gonna have to go a bit more of a roundabout route. So, if we know that we've got 100%, so 100% is the 120, let's now go to 10%. So, to get from 100% to 10%, what you have to do is you have to divide by 10. So, if we've divided the 100% by 10, we need to divide the 120 by 10 because they are proportionate, they're directly proportionate. So, 120 divided by 10, equals 12 pounds. And there we have it. We've got 10% is 12 pounds. And that makes sense because 10 lots of 12 pounds makes 120 pounds and 100% 100 is 120 pounds. Right, now that we've got our 10% is 12 pounds, we can start to count up. So let's go with this. We've got 10% is 12 pounds. So that means 20% will be 24 pounds. Okay, because every lot of 10% is 12 pounds. And then 30% will be another lot of 12 pounds, which will take us to 36 pounds. So we could have done that in one go. 10% times three equals 30%. 12 times three equals 36. Anyway, so there we have it. 30% of 120 pounds is 36 pounds. Right, let's try one more question. So this time I'm gonna look at finding 27% of 99 pounds. Okay, so this one is even trickier still, but with this, we've got a pretty fail-safe method as long as you've got your calculator on you. So if I've got 100% is 99 pounds, what we can do here is we can go straight to 1%. Now, the beauty of finding 1% is as soon as we've found 1%, then we can find any percentage in the world, okay? Any percentage we like. So let's have a go. So 100 divided by 100 gives us 1%. So therefore, as 100% equals 99 pounds, 
I need to do 99 pounds divided by 100. So I'm going to do that on my calculator. 99 divide 100 equals 0.99. So 1% equals 0.99 pounds or 99 pence as we also know it. Okay, right. Now I need to go to 27%. So 1% times 27 equals 27%. So what is our 1%? 1 percent? 1 percent is 0 0.99. So 0 0.99 times 27 shall equal 27 percent of 99 pounds. Right, let's try that out on the calculator. 0 0.99 times 27 equals 26 pounds and 73 pence. So there you have it. 27 percent of 99 pounds is 26 pounds and 73 pence. Right, let's try one more using this method just to make sure we're completely happy. Right, so here we go, question four. Find 13.5% of 139 pounds. Okay, so let's write it out, 100% equals 139 pounds. Now, let's divide both sides by 100 to get 1%. So we have 1% equals one second, 139 divided by 100, £1.39. So we know that 1% equals £1.39. Right, now, this time we want 13.5%. So we know that 1 times 13.5 gives us 13.5%. So that means we need to multiply our 1% which in this case is our £1.39, by 13.5. So let's work that out. So 1.39 multiplied by 13.5% equals 18.765. And there we have it. 13.5% of 139 is equal to 18.765. Okay, great. That is direct proportion covered. If you want to get more practice at that now, you can go on to the Crack Maths website. This is all under tutorial 11. So you'll find loads of questions that you can do to practice this. But if not, if you want to continue with us, I'm now going to talk to you, I'm now going to talk to you about a method called percentage equivalent decimal multipliers. Okay, so hopefully by now, if you haven't, if you don't know this, don't worry, but you might know by now that every percentage has an equivalent decimal, okay? So the beautiful thing about this is, if you ever want to find a certain percentage of an amount, all you have to do is find its equivalent decimal and then multiply the amount by that. Let me show you what I mean. So let's look again at question one. So question one said, what is 50% of 80 pounds? So 50% has an equivalent decimal. And the way we find that out is by doing 50 divided by 100. So 50 divided by 100 equals 0 0.5. Therefore, we know that 50% is equivalent to 0 0.5. So now, if we know that 50% is equivalent to 0 0.5, we can use this 0 0.5 to multiply with our amount to find 50%. So I can simply now type into my calculator 0 0.5 multiplied by 80 pounds and find out that that equals 40 pounds. Here we go. Perfect. Right, let's try it again for question two. So this time we want to find 30% of 120. Remember, it's all about equivalent decimals. So 30%, well 30 divided by 100 equals 0 0.3. So therefore, 30% is equivalent to 0.3. Now we have this, what we can do is we can do 0.3 times 120. So I'm going to type that into my calculator. 0.3 times 120, and that equals 36, which is what we got last time. Brilliant. Okay, next question. 27% of 99. So remember, find your equivalent decimal. So that's going to be 27 divided by 100, which equals 0 
So 0.27 is our equivalent decimal. And now let's just multiply this by our amount. So 0.27 multiplied by 99 equals £26.73, which is what we got last time. OK, last question here, question four. 13.5% of 139. So we do 13.5 divided by 100 equals 0.135. So we know that our decimal equivalent to 13.5% is 0.135. And now we multiply our 0.135 by our amount. So I'm going to do 139 multiplied by 0.135. And there we go, we've got our answer. So that's 18.765. So 13.5% of 139 pounds is 18.765, which we'd probably call 18.77 as it's pounds and pence. So perfect, there we go. Right, now I'm gonna quickly hop over to crack maths now because I want to have a go at a scenario question with you before we finish. So we've got our question, which is saying a store is offering a 20% discount on a £50 item. What is the cost of the item after the discount? So as I've got my calculator on me, I'm going to use my decimal equivalent percentage multiplier. OK, so I know that 20% is going to have a decimal equivalent of 0 0.2. OK, so now I've got my 0 0.2, I'm going to do 0 0.2 times 50. OK. 0.2 times 50, I'm going to do that on my calculator, 0.2 times 50, and that equals 10. Okay, so there we go. We know that 20% is £10, but that is not the question. So the question here is what is the cost after the discount? So we know that it's a 20% discount, 20% is £10, so we're going to have to take the £10 from the £50, and that will give us our answer. So let's do 50 take away 10, and that equals 40. So there we go. The discount or the cost after the discount is £40. Wonderful. Right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today in this tutorial and I will hopefully see you in the next one. OK, good luck. And remember, you can get lots of practice over at crackmaths.co.uk. Thank you very much and I will see you soon. Bye.